This is my new workspace over here. It's pretty nice. Hey, I'm glad I built this because it makes it a little bit easier. Now, to protect everything else I got here on this, I'm going to put my mat down like I used to do and start working on these little projects. I'll take you guys through it. Uh, today, I've got... I've got different layers of leather. Uh, this is this is what you call 11 ounce. This is really thick stuff, isn't it? Can't use this today, <laughs> but it's just pretty interesting. All the different sizes of leather. I've got to make a thing to hold all my leather up. Now I've got. I think this is uh, this is four ounce. That's what four ounce looks like for folks that want to know. And this is. Uh, I think that's three. I think that's three ounce. It's really, see it's really thin. And I don't use much of that. That's just for little pouches and stuff. This is the guy I want. This is, uh, this is ten ounce. Or, it's between ten and, and eight. Okay, so, the reason why they say that is because some layers are ten. Like this layer up here. This, you can tell that's ten. They do make gauges, so you guys can check. Um, if you go to tandyleather.com, please remember that. If you go there, they support veterans, and if you go there, you can sign up for their program and get discounts from them as well. But um, if they have gauges where you can actually check to see what part of the leather is what, and that's if you go discount. So I usually go discount on my leather. I get uh, just whatever's the most affordable but has what I need and uh, doesn't break the bank so let's get started on this project what do you say I think I should right <laughs> get to work VA shut your mouth Porky the Pig and Daffy Duck. Guess what that is? Homemade mead. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. 
is, folks. Uh, simple, easy, one-piece knife sheath. So, it just has the spacers between. It's just to keep the blade from cutting through the uh, stitching. And it's just simple, uh, easy to make. One piece. And you just got to plan ahead if you're going to do a ferrule rod. You want to make sure you have enough space to be able to fold it over. And it depends on what look you're going for. I was kind of doing, uh, you know, the barbed wire theme kind of thing going on. But it's just simple, easy to make knife sheath. Uh, one rivet, uh, you can't go wrong with one rivet is fine for something like this to lash around. It's not going to break off. It, I've never had one snap on me. So you don't need to put like 15,000 rivets in a in something like this. This thing here, that is a sharpener paste counter and everything. I think I've kind of covered that before. Should be nice and neat in there. Let's give it a try. It should go like that. There we go. And then I'll just kind of do a simple little wrap around like that. Now this isn't for me. This isn't for this knife either. This is uh, for a subscriber who contacted me and uh, I told him, you know, what, 30 bucks and I was good. So I'm I'm pleased with the way it came out and I'm pretty sure they're going to they're going to enjoy rocking it, slinging it, beating the crap out of it. It's meant to do work. It's not meant for it's not a wall hanger kind of sheath, so it's meant to actually be carried and beat up. That's kind of what it's meant to be done with, but simple, easy knife sheath. And there you go.